Hello and welcome to Nowhere. My name is Trish and I am the creator behind Nowhere Novelties. If you're frequently on YouTube, you also like makeup and you might be a true crime buff, you've probably come across the one and only Bailey Sarian. I found Bailey's YouTube page about two years ago and very quickly binged all of her murder mystery makeup YouTube videos. When I started making tumblers, I asked my friends and family to give me a few ideas on some tumblers that they thought would be cool if I made. One of the suggestions was to create cups that are themed like a few of Bailey's most famous sayings. So I've designed a suspicious tumbler with smoke effect and alcohol ink flames. If you're ready to see this one come together, let's strap in and shoot for the stars. I am starting off with a 20 ounce skinny straight base painted white. Creating smoke effect on a tumbler is easy, but dangerous. It does come with the risk of a fire hazard. So please be careful. Take lots of precautions. If you don't trust yourself, maybe do this outside. I've done plenty of smoke effect tumblers, so I'm pretty comfortable with the process. So I'm taking masking tape, uh, just a bunch of it kind of rolled up sticky side out on a popsicle stick. This is going to create a lot of black smoke. People also do this effect with like an old fork, um, but this is just the easiest way to create the smoke in my opinion. So I'm going to light the tape on fire and move very quickly. So the black smoke that's coming off of the tape is actually going to kind of imprint itself on the tumbler, you can see it creating the smoke effect as I spin the tumbler. Once I get the smoke effect to the point that I like it, don't forget the bottom of your cup, just douse your popsicle stick and tape into a cup of water. I did cover my smoke effect with a layer of epoxy, knowing I was gonna go in with the alcohol inks. We all know how much alcohol inks stain, so I didn't want the paint to be raw. Um, I wanted the option to use a little bit of alcohol and clean up any messes if that were to happen. I'm using red, orange, and yellow alcohol inks, pretty standard coloring for flames, quote unquote. Um, so I am just taking the alcohol inks on a makeup sponge that I had cut up um, and just dabbing. I want to kind of get the color onto the tumbler in a gradient fashion and then I will work on like separating out the color um, so that it looks more uh, like detailed. When I designed this cup, I kind of, I didn't want like actual like painted flames like with the, you know, the points, like the flamey points, <laughs> uh, if you want to call it that. I, I just wanted kind of like an abstract look of like the gradient coloring of flames. I thought that it looked really good against the smoke effect. Thought it was a different, a different vibe, a different look, um, as opposed to like, just like decaled flames. Bailey is known for her like really rebel, grungy, like skulls and flames um, kind of vibe. If you follow her on any of her social media platforms, you can tell that's totally like her vibe. So I really wanted to incorporate this, like the smoke and the flame look with her famous saying or word if you want to call it suspish she says suspish on her channel all the time um when she's talking about people being like super sketchy okay so once the like base uh alcohol inks are on your tumbler and you like the gradient i am taking a um new makeup sponge and pure alcohol 90 percent rubbing alcohol and dabbing the original inks that's going to kind of separate the coloring and give you this weird like almost like ripply wavy effect 
And that's what I like that kind of represents more of like that smoky or flamey kind of organic look. You can diffuse your inks with this pure alcohol as much or as little as you want until you get the desired effect on the bottom half of this tumbler. Now, because I too am a rebel, I actually went in straight with a decal without putting another layer of epoxy over my inks. I did allow the inks to dry for well over 24 hours before I did this, and I don't use super tacky um, transfer tape, so I wasn't really concerned with disturbing the alcohol inks. When I designed this cup, I really wanted the suspish to be the focal point. So my decal is large and in charge and vertical on the tumbler. Um, make sure you get it nice and straight on there. I still eyeball it. I never measure anything. But once the decal is on, you're ready for two final layers of epoxy. And she's done as usual. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Hope to see you guys real soon. Bye now.